Now see, this is a this is horoscope of someone whom I you know loved a lot. So he's a singer. I I used to love him a lot. I liked him a lot. Resonated with him. He was like recently what happened on last Sunday in Punjab. You must have heard of it. A singer was brutally killed. Nineteen bullets, etc., etc. So I should admit it that I used I used to love him a lot. That if he will launch a song when I am into the class, I will give a break, listen to the song, then he will come again to teach. <laughs> this is what used to happen. Now he have died, so that's very pathetic of it. However, now you see, you go to the twelfth house. You see, there is Bulika in the twelfth house once again, a pathetic condition. This twelfth lord is Mercury, which goes to the eighth house. This Mercury is retrograde. So retrograde, you always understand. It. Retrograde is a type of desire, as I explained in the case of Ramakrishna Paramans, that retrograde is a desire, right? <laughs> So see, people are finding many similarities between how he made a song named 295 and he was killed on 29th day of the fifth month. Though basically 295 is connected to February of 1995 when the Bindarwala thing happened, which led to the killing of uh, Indira Gandhi. But still, the second last song that this person sang, which was related to the last ride in which he was, what? comparing himself to a popular Western singer named Tupac, actually came true. It became his second last song and just a few days after it, he was brutally shot by some gangsters, whatever be the case. So 12th, and you know, that song was all about that I am very, you know, I am very bright, so I will be shot in my, you know, I, I will be shot when I am young only. It's that kind of a scenario. So he always like tend to, instigate that you know i sh i will be killed by people people will murder me this is this was his basic theme throughout all his song from the first song to the last song which i have been an ardent follower of indicated by the 12th lord which is retrograde indicating that this is a person who wants that type of you know who is like wishing the type of death that he got it is coming into the 11th house that indicates a grim crime that further goes with sun and moon sun indicating people in authority and moon indicating sentimentally hurt people, right? And so there are many things that you can explain here. There are many things which are very clearly visible in the horoscope, right? The, the gun which he was used to shot. And this is a reason of concern that he was shot with a gun which is not even with Indian government. So the people who shot him had three AN-95, that is a high level assault rifle that even Indian government is not having. So I sometimes think that if there are 10 people in India having this pistol and they start firing on any common person, Indian government is not in a position to save you basically. Whatever be the case, that's not the topic. The topic is the 12th house having bully, the 12th lord going to the 8th house, going with sun and moon is clearly depicting the play of politics, the play of power, and emotionally hurt people which are leading to the assassination of this particular person. It is the same person who told Salman Khan also that we will kill you. And I think two years ago, he told it to Salman Khan that we will kill you, but in two years, he have not been able to. But recently, I think day before yesterday, he sent a letter to Salman Khan that we will do the same with you that we did with Sibu. Whatever be the case, we are not much concerned with that. Coming to the sixth house, we find Mars there, Jupiter there, Jupiter in own Rashi. Jupiter in own Rashi indicate that this person can live into heavens for long. But Mars here indicate that he have to take a quick rebirth, right? This becomes a contradictory situation. Here we find that Jupiter is in his own Rashi Pisces, whereas Mars is not into his own Rashi. Mars is into a normal condition. You will say at maximum it is a neutral Rashi. Or if you become very strict with the principles that I teach, you will say that it is an inimical Rashi. But when you go to Shadwell, you find Jupiter is very weak, 93%, whereas Mars is very powerful, 106%. In such a scenario, give preference to Shadwell because the real thing which is of utmost importance in the horoscope related to death is the Kalabal. The time when someone dies. This is the reason Bhisma Pitama tells to everyone that, okay, 
though I am sleeping in the bed of arrows, I will only die when sun comes to Uttaraya. So he is more concerned with Kalbal, not much concerned with Sthanabal. Overall, Bal, Mars is getting more overall strength. This happened on Amavasya. Mars is a malefic that will be powerful on Amavasya, right? So Kalbal, Mars is having more of a Kalbal. You can go to the strength, you can do a shuttle breakup and you can see Mars having 109 of Kalbal and Jupiter having 132 of Kalbal. However, still going with the aggregate shuttle, I will still take Mars to be powerful. And we'll say that this person will be reborn again soon in like two, three, four years itself. So certainly we can predict that in two, three, four years, we will see another talented person like him. And when it will happen, everyone will know right, that this is an incarnation. So basically what happens now, even if a child takes incarnation after three years, for him to become young and so the traits, it will take another 20, 25 years. So you can say around 27 to 30 years from his death, there will be someone else equal to him, equivalent to him, which people will consider is this person reborn. Okay. So this is my all and all analysis and why I took this particular horoscope because this belongs to a real person. Right? And because Ramana Maharshi Ramakrishna Paramahansa, we are not, we are more in tune with real people. Okay. So whenever you find the death time of someone, you just try to check it. What happens with the person, you will know. 